welcome back to Todd Family Farm. Welcome to Spring Farmathon episode seven. So this should be the last Spring Farmathon, and Spring Farmathon has been a little bit challenging this year because we got rained out several times, had to have delays in planting, and all of that. So it's been a little bit different, but hope you guys enjoyed it still. So today. We are hopefully going to be getting planting finished for 2023. So we have about 88 acres up of uh, river bottom ground that we're renting and we've been waiting for it to dry out and, and we were spraying the past couple days. So we got everything sprayed for the first time. So we should be good to go finish planting now. It should be dry enough. So we are gonna get the planter loaded up and head up there. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and we can get wrapped up with planting today. Well, uh, this I'm changing the population. So out here, where the population is extremely important on seed. And this is called a transmission. This is a planter transmission. And there's five gears back here and five gears up there and then two gears right there and essentially I can make that shaft turn any speed I want that's like a hundred gear transmission and um, I changed the, the gearing on it to plant the seeds uh, that need to be planted and you want about a seed every six inches and we're going on better ground, so we're going to go and we're going to change it by 3 sixteenths. And that 3 sixteenths of an inch in makes a huge, huge difference in your yield. It's extremely minute details on this. So we're going from 6 inch spacing to 5 and 13 sixteenths spacing here on this better ground. And that can make you $2,000. So just that little teeny tiny adjustment. So that's what I'm doing. I'm changing the population. And then on beans, you, you have it in a completely different gear. So there's uh, numerous combinations you can do on there. We have a chart and, and that's what I'm doing, population. We went through, lined two bags up on every row, then we put one bag in each row. Now, adding some graphite in there, that is, that black stuff, a really fine powder that helps the seed to flow smoother and not get plugged up or anything, and yeah, doing good. my camera battery died but uh, dad went through and topped all the boxes off and I just finished going through and adding the second bag in and yeah we got it all loaded up now so here's our stack of bags that we used Whew. so getting along good Ch chunking bags is harder than you think <laughs> we already have the plate switched back to corn from when we were planting beans but we're gonna go through and adjust the depth now and get that set right for corn. Okay, we're gonna go get them sealed up and then he should be ready to go. Just got set down and started and row A is not planted so we're gonna try and get that figured out. See if it'll work now. Well, 
we uh, took the seed plate out and just made sure we had everything set, which we did. So I'm not sure what the deal was, but then dad started again and it is planting now. So uh, that's what they're looking like, doing good. So hopefully it'll keep doing good. Okay, we made it home. We did a little bit of miscellaneous this morning, but now we're having lunch. So I have a delicious jalapeno brat with chips. Mom's making... <laughs> Mom is making Dad and Lemuel's lunch, and we're going to take that up to him. So, yeah. We got Dad's and Lemuel's lunches delivered to them. So the next little job that we have for today is we are going to be planting sweet corn for our neighbor so papa and i are getting ready to or are heading over to do that <laughs> And they are back so they are finished and planting 2023 is finished we got done planting so I'm gonna go see if dad has anything he wants to say do you have any comments I'm done, getting done with with uh, planting yeah um it's exhausting and I, I, of course, I'm happy we're done. Um, and every year, you immediately think, was this the best that could be done? And you never have a perfect year. You always think there could have been things you could have done better. And, I mean, you have that every year. This year, I might have it a little bit more because we waited for the ground to warm up, which seems like it'd be the right thing to do. But some of these other guys that planted... When it was still cold, they seemed to be getting along okay. And so then I think, well, should I have been planting when it was real cold? And uh, of course, time will tell. And, but they're getting along okay. And so then it makes me think maybe I should have just planted on April 15th. I don't know. So, I mean, there's there's just those doubts. Um, no, I don't want to like, be a Debbie Downer here, but it's the reality of farming. So you get the reality of it. So it's, it's so nice if you just have this stretch of long weather and everything's just great and you just get to get up every morning and, and go out and do, but no, it was go out and as soon as the ground got ready to go, you have to jump on it because there's rain coming in 36 hours. So we had this 36 hour window here, 36 hour window there, 36 hour window here, 36 hour window there, and everything was just these short blasts of sprint speed and that's, that's not a, I mean it took some of the fun out of it so uh, it was it was a unique year probably a little bit of a tougher year um, of course I'm of course I'm happy to have it in and now we just kind of wait and see but yeah that's what it was the farmathon was just a series of sprints and um, that made it tough so as you I mean you could you, you saw it was okay let's go nuts and get this corn planted and we're it's raining by on the on the last five acres of corn okay it's finally dry and then we go we start at two in the afternoon one afternoon and by the next afternoon it's raining again and then up there uh, trying to get the bean ground sprayed same thing so it's just I kind of like to enjoy it but this year it was just a matter of the business of getting it in but we got it in and we'll uh pray for god's blessing all right everybody so it is now a different day and we did get finished with planting or basically finished we did have there was one little field up there just a few acres um and it was some of the wettest ground up there so it was still too wet to plant on that day that we finished with all the big areas but we'll go up there that'll probably be in the next video of just doing that little 
piece but so we're basically finished with planting for 2023 so this will be the last episode of farmathon um like dad said it was a little bit of a more challenging year and it was hard to do farmathon with the rain delays and everything so i didn't get a video out every single day during planting but um, i hope you guys enjoyed following along and overall things went pretty well but we are super excited to be done with planting thank you guys so much for watching and for following along and all of your support really means a lot so we will see you in the next video